All right, so next up, let's talk about some sites of metabolism. It's useful to group metabolic reactions by the site in which they occur. Most reactions occur either in the mitochondria of the cell or within the cytoplasm, although some reactions occur in both. Now don't be surprised if a USMLE question asks you where a certain reaction takes place. And yes, this is very high yield. Now in the mitochondria, reactions such as fatty acid oxidation, which is also known as beta oxidation, acetyl-CoA production, the TCA cycle, oxidative phosphorylation, and ketogenesis take place. And the cytoplasm plays host to reactions such as glycolysis, fatty acid synthesis, the HMP shunt, protein synthesis in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, steroid synthesis in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, nucleotide synthesis, as well as cholesterol synthesis. Now, as we just stated, protein synthesis takes place on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And do you remember which type of proteins are produced by the rough endoplasmic reticulum? There you go. These are proteins that are meant to be secreted from the cell or bound within organelles or embedded in membranes as these are all synthesized by the rough endoplasmic reticulum, while the cytosolic proteins are synthesized from free ribosomes. And just to review, where does steroid and cholesterol synthesis take place again? There you go. That occurs on the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now, can you name a few reactions that take place in both the mitochondria as well as the cytoplasm? There you go. These include heme synthesis, the urea cycle, and gluconeogenesis. And an easy way to remember these is it takes two to hug. With all that said, if you look closely at these individual pathways, you'll see that part of the pathway occurs in one location, while the rest of the pathway occurs in a separate location. And just to review, do you remember which vitamin is required for heme synthesis? There you go. That'd be vitamin B6, a pyridoxine. And it's used to convert succinyl-CoA and glycine to aminolabulinic acid, which is the first step in heme synthesis. All right, now let's take a shot at a flash quiz. Glycolysis occurs in the... There you go, cytoplasm whereas the TCA cycle occurs in the great, the mitochondria. Now it's important to remember where these two pathways occur. And just to review, glycolysis again occurs in the cytoplasm, whereas the TCA cycle occurs within the mitochondria. All right, well that'll wrap up Sites Metabolism. See you in the next video.